Welcome viewers. Today we will be looking at how to solve 126 minus 18 divided by 6 minus 3. And we will be doing that in less than 5 minutes. This is similar to a previous problem that we had solved. So this will test whether we have really understood it. So we have 126 minus 18 divided by 6 minus 3. We will be using either the BOD mass, the bid mass, or PEM DAS. Just like we mentioned earlier, we will be using the BOD mass or the bid mass. And these are simply helping to establish the order of operations in mathematical calculations. Priority starting from the top to the bottom. For instance, in the board mass, we will start with the bracket before we go into the order or the off. We will do the order or off before we go into division. We will do division before multiplication multiplication before addition, and addition before subtraction. You will notice that both the board mass and bid mass are similar. So we also have the PEMDAS. Uh, the PEMDAS is more affiliated with the United States, while the board mass, bid mass, is more affiliated with the United Kingdom, Nigeria, or the West African countries, and um, also India, Bangladesh, and so many other countries like Australia. So uh, the PEMDAS is also similar to the board mass and bid mass. The only thing here is that multiplication starts before division in the PEMDAS. But like I said earlier, if you've solved maths long enough, you'll know that when operations are together, multiplication and division are together, it doesn't really matter if you solve the multiplication before the division or the division before the multiplication. So this shows just the order of operations, parentheses starting before exponent, exponent starting before multiplication, multiplication starting before division, and division starting before addition, and addition before subtraction. So we have 126 minus 18 divided by 6 minus 3. And we will be using board mass, where we have the brackets, the order, that is whether it's an exponent or power, and also off, off meaning um, multiplication in some way, that is 50% of 20% of, that means 20% times a certain thing. But we now also have division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Now, looking at the above problem, do we have a bracket? No. Do we have an order? No. Do we have an off? No. Do we have division? Yes, we have division, so that we will start with the division. Do we have multiplication? No. Do we have addition? No. Do we have subtraction? Yes. So we will be starting with the division, and then we will move to the subtraction. So we have 126 minus 3, minus 3. How did we get that? So since we started with the division, 18 divided by 6 is 3. And that's why we have 126 minus 3, minus 3. Now, eventually we have 126 minus 6. Why is it minus 6? You have a minus 3 and you have another minus 3. You owe 3 and you owe another 3. So that means you're owing 6. So what now we'll be able to carry out the subtraction. So 126 minus 6. And that gives us 120. Now, looking at the alternatives here, we cannot see 120. But we can see 5 factorial. And 5 factorial means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60, 
60 times 2 is 120. Therefore, our answer is 120, and this is represented by 5 factorial. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. If you have gained any value, kindly subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.